Hello everyone, and welcome to Test Run. I'm your host, Code Marvelous, and today I am joined by, again, Seamus from the United Kingdom. Hi everyone. And we are taking his Controlling the Message deck, which you saw in our last video, for a spin on Competitive Jinteki, and it looks like we're up against an Andromeda, which is very representative of the meta right now. Sure is. No. So let's go ahead and toggle video mode, and Seamus, why don't we take a look at the opening hand, and we'll give him the good luck, have fun, and see what we're going to do. So now, the obvious thing about this opening hand is that it doesn't have sweeps week. However, you can get yourself in some real sticky situations if you go mulliganing perfectly good hands for sweeps week. So yeah. I say we stick with this. Yeah, I was going to say, this is a solid B hand. Yeah. I get... I oh, get I mean, really... against anyone that isn't Andromeda, this is an A hand. It's just that, you know... Sweet Sweet is so sweet. But hey, maybe we'll get it on our mandatory draw. Alright, so we're going to fire up the turn. Let's do it. Alright, so we we pull a resistor as our as our first card. Okay. Um, so we're definitely popping the launch campaign down. Um, okay. We're obviously icing HQ. Now, I think we probably put a resistor on HQ for now. Uh, and then the turnpike on R&D. I can get behind that. Yeah, because that's often where a data raven goes, so people will frequently poke that before they... Um... Ooh, what have we got? Archives. Uh, that's okay. But I'm just saying, it's not unsurprising. No, no, it's not at all. Um... Desperado. Okay, so that that's actually quite good. As long as they don't discard a paperclip we should pop that resistor on uh, archives. And oh. Then only... oh, trashing a fairy. <laughs> well, now that's kind yeah, of worrying. That super... um, because remember what to... is in his hand that he was willing to ditch a fairy? Yeah, exactly. Um, so let's res the launch campaign and see if we draw any other ice we might want to pop on archives. Um, so let's we draw a card. Um, okay, let's... Pop the resistor on archives, and yeah, let's play that hedge fund. Get our money up a bit. Get out of that account siphon range. Yeah. Yeah, he made a sad face when we put the ice on. <laughs> yeah, res that up. Feels good. Yeah, it would have been nice to have the turnpike to pop there, which might have been the smarter play, but... uh it's still fine. We're preventing Temujin totally running away with it. Yep. Oh, he went up to strength. Yeah, so that's I what... I mean, he's still going to make a profit. Two credit yeah. profit. Once you've spent the click to run, it makes sense to pay through it. Um, now, I'm kind of tempted not... All right, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Sorry. No, no, uh, it's totally fine. Um, it's kind of six of one half, doesn't it, the other... data sucker yeah interesting now this might i feel be... like i feel like i know which deck he's playing it's is it, uh is it yog it's the i think it's the yog uh data sucker one that recently won a tournament i forget where okay um so let's draw a card we got um, a beal let's draw another card and Jay let's Howe. pop the toll booth on hq yeah, seems good. Yeah, I just don't want to get a count siphoned at this point. Yeah, here siphon's a good card that people <laughs> are recently being reminded exists. Indeed. Hey, that's exactly what we want. Let's res that turnpike. Yeah, so let's go ahead and hit him with the loss of a credit and the five trace. Yeah, brilliant card. Feels good. And Feels this really actually good. this has a really good effect as well because it can tell us whether they're holding a networking or not. Oh, that's a bit mm. annoying. We've seen three agendas. Yeah, we're over ten cards drawn. That's not crazy. I wonder if he's debating whether or not there it is. Uh, yeah, cool. Debating so that's whether good or to not know. to show us the networking. Yeah, I, I think that's probably what the pause was there. Yeah, that, that is really good information to have generally. I mean... 
probably wouldn't do it right now, but sometimes you will commit quite hard to a hard-hitting use if it's going to land a tag, but knowing that networking's in play is valuable in making that calculation. Absolutely. Yeah, 100%, I would say that that's true. All right. So let's start it up. We get our last tick of the launch campaign. What have we got in the bin at the moment? Is it a hedge and a launch? Correct. Cool. Uh, let's drop Jackson and see if we can improve our hand a bit. Okay. Drop and use. We get an exchange okay. of information, which is um, nice and saucy, and a senses. No. Do we want to drop the senses this turn or next turn? Um, let's drop the senses and get rid of the GFI. Um, do we know if this tournament winning deck ran a uh, rumor mill? I don't believe that it did. Yeah, let's take the risk. Because I think it had a lot of Anarch influence in um, things like um, um, you know, the Data Suckers and yeah. Jog and Mimic. Yeah, let's pop All Jackson. Right. Just get everything. Yeah. All right, he's going to go get the Senses, which yeah, is fine. Yeah, for sure. We're going to trace him. Ooh, yeah. Feels good. Networking is a really good card against controlling the mess. <laughs> it sure is. All right, um, so we've got an all-seeing eye. Ugh, this is tricky. Uh, let's draw a card. I've not got a lot of options here. Um, hmm... Right, probably don't want to discard too many of these cards, so let's pop the little engine on a remote and click for a credit. Okay, we're still going to have to pitch something. Yeah, we're going to ditch Psychographics for now. Makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to go tag me, and with networking in hand, it's either going to be they're... unlikely that we can bury them in tags, or it's going to be a while from now. Right. Here comes the siphon. Yeah, res that bad boy. Boop. No siphon for you, sir. Feels good. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. Let's see a good card. That's an okay card. Um, so what I am looking to do is put... Probably this turn, but definitely eventually put another card on top of the uh, little engine. Probably the turnpike. Um, now, we don't really want to ditch any of the cards in our hand, although we could ditch All Seeing Eye a pinch. Um, I think we do need options, so let's draw once. Okay, that's great. So let's pop the senses out um, in a new remote, and let's... Uh, Click for a credit and discard all seeing eye. So hopefully while they're busy doing this turn after turn, we will draw something proactive. Um, perfect. Okay. Um, let's draw one. Uh, let's... That, that's pretty good. Yeah, now let's uh, sweep and pop the launch campaign in the remote because it may cause them to inside job, which would be great. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be ideal. Yeah. I love getting criminals. Like, I feel like with Andy, a lot of times, especially in the early game, baiting out the inside jobs is super important. Yeah. Because almost certainly, even if they... Oh, that's good. Yeah, do that. Um, although, I'm sure this will be a breaking news that they steal now, but that's fine. Um, this is a relatively good trade-off for us. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Okie dokie. That's making things a little bit more difficult. Uh, so, res the launch campaign. Um, let's see what we get. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, um, so let's 
draw one. <laughs> Let's pop the resistor on R&D and the turnpike on the remote. Perfect. Yeah, we're not having an easy go of it. Yeah, um, it's not looking great, but CTM does have the ability to switch these things up really quickly. So with a little bit of luck, we uh, might still get away with this. Okay, so that's them in a good position now. Let's see what we draw. Um, so here's the here's the question: Do we want to risk that launch campaign unprotected? Um, it's relatively likely they will have drawn another Temujin by now. So I'm tempted to right, draw. Right, but they can't put. They can't put a new Temujin down until they clear the first No, one. no, they can. They can just trash that and install a new one. Um, I thought you couldn't trash resources. You can't, but the way that playing unique re unique cards works is if you play a unique card that's already in play, the one already in play is trashed. So you, you wow. can. Wow. Yeah. I, I um, was winning a lot of games not thinking that I could overwrite Temujin. Oh, well, there you go. You're going to have an even, even easier time of it now. Um, yeah, wow. <laughs> all right, let's draw a card. There have to be some answers in here somewhere. Fine. That's let's sweeps and let's install these senses. We want to sweeps? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to discard something that's going to be more useful later. Losing one credit on a sweeps isn't the worst thing in the world. Ah, oh, there it is. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So you just need a little bit of love from the deck now. That is not. Um, let's uh, put the Beal in the remote. Let's just. We're going to have to try and start scoring and put the uh, Astro, uh, the launch campaign out in the open. We've got one click left. And take a credit because we're not going to be able to play a card next turn if we score that Beal. So we'll be able to hold whatever we draw. Yeah, we still don't have a good decoder down. So even though they've got a decent monetary position, they're not in a great place to actually break a little engine this turn. No, we're probably safe this turn, uh, but very soon I suspect they're going to end up in a position where they can break all of our ice because they've drawn a fair amount of their deck. And I don't know that we've seen any uh, special orders yet. So... Um, do you remember no, what... No, but, but a mongoose and a fairy did get pitched. This is true, but generally speaking, criminals are better just taking the traces from our sentries anyway, particularly Andy with her link. Um, so do you remember what this deck, if it is the deck that we think it is, was running for R&D pressure? Uh, yeah, a uh, single turning wheel. Oh, okay. Well, that is relatively good for us. That is better than the other options. seems given the weight there it seems like they're thinking about challenging the remote oh, apparently not maybe I, mean, just... I would be i would be thinking about it yeah it sort of depends what's in their hand but um maybe they think it's a bluff fair enough okay That's a lot of money. Um, and a lot of data sucker tokens. Yep, for that yog. It's mm -hmm. going to be coming down later. However, if we pop at some point, if we find, say, a pop-up to... Oh my god. Okay, uh, let's score the beal. Um, see if we can get them moving and spending some money. Yeah, I'm just concerned that we might get hit with a legwork soon. Uh, yeah, I think dropping a fem on that toll booth and either account siphoning or legworking is a real possibility in the next couple of turns. Um, yeah, especially with the earth rise chugging through yeah, the deck. Yeah, yeah. Because dropping a fem and account siphoning is sweet here for them because it kills our money, uh, puts them on decent money, and they can networking away the tags. Yeah, as I said during the deck. Hey, call, there we go. At least we look clever. <laughs> yep. Yep. 
Well, we might get lucky and not lose here. <laughs> Two credits, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Global food, Adonis campaign. Maybe thinking about trash in that. Come on, Orange Jesus. Don't fail me now. <laughs> nope, good game. <laughs> uh. All right. <laughs> Sometimes these things happen, man. Man, I've, I've not had a good run on your show lately, Dan. <laughs> That's not entirely true. Oh, do you not remember that uh, Valencia with New Angeles City Hall deck we faced with the Argus? Oh, artist? yeah. I mean, <laughs> but that was like, that was an outlier. That was like somebody was playing like a deck literally constructed <laughs> to fight our play. All right, man. Well, that is, uh, that's how Criminal beat CTM. <laughs> yeah. A nice tutorial on how Criminal Beat CTM. <laughs> but yeah, Seamus, as always, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Again, thanks for having me. Yeah, for those of you watching at home, give us some feedback. Um, CTM is an ID from the deck build that you know that I have a lot of interest in. So if you've got an interesting build, share it. Uh, I'd be more than happy to give you feedback on it or just chit-chat with it, you about it. Till we see you all again, always be running. Mm-hmm.